Welcome to FIR Plus. I'm Neville Hobson in the UK. The co-host on the FIR podcast jangles on Twitter. Next. <laughs> yeah. Everybody on the truck, I'm Del C. Blogger. Lionel Adele on Twitter. Um, I... Hi, this is Shell Holtz. I am the co-host of uh, FIR and here on FIR Plus uh, and uh, Holtz Communication Plus Technology. And I'm Shell Holtz on Twitter. And I'm Cami Heuza. I am a co-founder of Zoetica, which is a, a agency. And I am Cami Chat on Twitter. Hey, I'm Brian Person from Live World. I'm the social media evangelist there, and uh, also the founder of Social Media Breakfast. And I'm Brian Person on Twitter. Terrific. So we are we are conducting a little experiment. Uh, I'm in the UK. Everyone else is in the US in various points, from California to Texas. Uh, uh, you're not in Texas, are you, Cami? Where, where are you located? I'm in Houston. Yeah, you are in Texas. Okay, fine. So, uh, um, first time I've done this, uh, participated in a Google Hangout. Uh, some of you may or may not have already tried this out. Uh, it's a little flaky, to say the least, but it, we're doing something, and this has huge potential. So, um, this is a great idea, your idea, Cami, to uh, to uh, kind of hang out uh, um, in this way and have a bit of a chat. So. I'm introducing it uh, uh, by default, just went ahead and did that. Shell's recording it, as is Brian, and we'll mash all this stuff up at the end and come up with something kind of interesting. So uh, here it's uh, p.m. Uh, on Thursday, um, July the 7th in the UK. It's morning where you folks are in the US. And um, well, I'm looking at it. It's a lovely day out there. It must be the same where you are, I expect. It's gorgeous in Texas. It's always hot. It's awesome. <laughs> So, um, Shell, why don't you tell them what we were kind of talking about and why, what our interest was in doing this? Well, we thought it would be good to, to do an experiment to uh, be able to share it with the uh, FIR audience and others and also to be able to talk about uh, this whole uh, introduction of, of Google Plus and what that's going to mean to uh, our time and our ability to uh, you know, be on all of these various platforms and pay enough attention to them and still get our work done. Uh, it seems uh, that this new screen is is another issue. Yeah. Um, so I would like to hear from everybody, like sort of how they're how I they're managing that. No, I think you're right. I think we just want to see how everybody's managing that yeah. and sort of how you're managing to uh, add this new thing in. But I, I think we've had other new things in the past. I mean, there's lots of things that have come by even in the last couple of months. You know, with the uh, Empire Avenue and and with Quora and hey, do you remember Plurk? <laughs> wow. Remember all these things? <laughs> I was I was actually remembering Second Life and how much time I spent in Second Life when it came out. So um, I don't know, Brian. Why don't you start and tell us kind of how you're handling it? Yeah, uh, maybe not like unlike all of you guys. I'm certainly uh, giving it a kick of the tires. Uh, just uh, I sign. I think I got one of the early invites on uh, on Thursday. Was it Wednesday night or Thursday night? Whenever they whenever they opened up, someone someone invited me. So I've been uh, dabbling, I guess, checking in a little bit each day. Uh, yesterday, sort of in in preparation for this, I definitely spent a lot more time uh, in there, uh, just experimenting. A lot of it's experimenting, seeing what works, and then having some kind of conversations internally at Live World to think about. You know how this might make sense, if at all, for our uh, for our clients and for, for which are you know mostly big brands. And I guess we can talk about how what Google said about that in a little bit. But uh, you know, it's it's I guess it's just like anything else, trying it out as much as I can, and but also keeping my to do list right in front of me, so I make sure I what I what else I have to get done today, I make sure I still get done. Are your other are your other networks suffering? I mean, where do you spend most of your time normally in social media? Um, probably take yeah, I, I would say I'm taking a little bit of time away from Twitter and a little bit of time away from Facebook, which are the two uh, two main spots, I guess, that I would uh, connect online each day. So yeah, they've taken uh, a little bit of a hit, but uh, that that's gonna I suppose normalize once I figure out how um, how to fully integrate this or. Um, you know, if it's going to be valuable for me over the over the longer term. Hey, Lionel, what are you guys doing over at Dell about all this? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, for us, I think you know, for a lot of us, it started. Hey, let's jump in personally and and kick the tires, and uh, and then uh, I think uh, you know, after maybe uh, just a couple of hours in it, you know, I asked the question, what what's uh, what's Google's official stance for brands? Because right off the bat, I saw you know that there was a lot of potential, and, and I wasn't the only Dell person that was that was asking the question. 
You know, so we've got folks like you know, Susan Beebe. She's the one that that, uh, you know, that got me the invite. And uh, I know Richard Richard Benhammer joined late because he's been on the road. Uh, you know, so I had uh, you know, pinged him to, you know, to get him to join. And, and uh, right off the bat, we, we, we started down those discussions. Um, and, and I have to say, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what I've seen. Um, you know, and then you know, going back to your question about, you know, how are we managing our time? Yeah, I agree with Brian. I mean, you know, look at my Twitter screen and uh, and look at my Facebook updates, and uh, there haven't been that many, uh, you know, since uh, since over the week when I started playing with Google Plus. Um, you know, and I, and I agree. I think uh, I still will use those things, no question. Uh, you know, Twitter's still you know one of my one of my favorite tools for you know, for having conversations. Um, and I think if you look at, at at who's there right now, obviously it's it's early adopter types. But, um, you know, I was reading a lot of the your reactions over the weekend uh, from Scoble and, and Chris Brogan and, and other folks. And I tend to agree. I, I think it's been a long time before my mom or dad even thinks about Google+. Uh, and, um, you know, but, but there's a lot of, uh, of, of uh, web geeks and, and technology geeks that are here already. And, uh, you know, I, 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 for one, hope that, uh, that Google Plus you know, starts to, you know, to build on that once they roll it out. And uh, it becomes a, a place for, uh, you know, for high-end consumer types and, and business stuff. You know, we'll see what happens when they roll it out. But, uh, you know, but I could definitely see me, me staying with Facebook for friends and family and using this for more, you know, more uh, engagement uh, with web and technology geeks. And then, you know, Twitter I'll still use for everything like I do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, from my perspective, I got on, I think, on Friday, early Friday last week. Um, and when I got in, I mean, the first thing that I found that I was sort of upside down, I wasn't sure how it worked. Um, so, so what I think is really interesting and different about Google Plus is that you make your circles instead of joining a circle. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So there's very little social context. And as a woman, I guess, maybe I care about that more than others, but um, I don't necessarily know who I'm talking to in a specific circle. And I've seen a lot of gaffes already in Google Plus, people saying things that they maybe shouldn't because they didn't realize what kind of well, who was really listening. Um, mm -hmm. The other thing that I think is really interesting, and this is the first thing I ever do in any social network, is I go in and I start looking for easier ways to do it, because <laughs> I'm sort of a shortcut kind of person. So I already found a Google Chrome extension that uh, helps me to share things out of Google+. Plus. I'm not really sure if how good of, it, of an extension it is right now, because they've coded it up basically overnight. Um, the other thing that I thought was really interesting is that there's already a Google Plus leaderboard. Have you guys seen that? Yes. Yeah, that was done by the same folks who do Twitter counter, right? Isn't, isn't that the same one? Right. Mm -hmm. I don't know who did it. I was yeah. like, wow, it's only been up for like, you know, less than a week. We have a leaderboard. Yes, and Mark Zuckerberg is on top. Mark Zuckerberg is number one, right? <laughs> Go Mark. Yeah. Well, hey, I mean, he's smart to get in there early. The other thing I noticed is because I use Gmail a lot that I've seen a lot of um, – it's been easier for me to check my updates because every time I go into email, there's a little um, notification, just like you get in Facebook, that tells me, oh, somebody's joined or somebody's added you to their circles or somebody said yeah. something about you. So I thought that was kind of an interesting thing. And people that are in Gmail already, I think, will find this really easy, dead easy to use. So you're talking about the, the uh, general public as soon as it's open. I mean, I can see anybody with a Gmail account. Why not? Just signing up for yeah. it. Um, <laughs> The final thing that I saw that was kind of interesting um, is is the usages and how we're going to manage that. And I kind of think I like what um, what Lionel said because we're going to have to go where our audiences are. So as as brand, I, I represent a lot of brands as you guys know. So uh, the first thing I was thinking is how can I do this? And there's a group of people that um, that that I like and that we use for. Um, um, blogger uh, tweet ups and stuff uh, for one of my clients. First thing I did was add them to a circle and invited them. So I actually took that step so that, you know, I'm bringing them in and they're like, oh, and, and I've already had a lot of, you know, goodwill from that. The, some of those people that couldn't get in wanted in and they were like, hmm. And so that's one thing that brands can do right away is, um, you know, if people aren't in the space you want them in, you can also invite them in. Mm -hmm. so. it's, it's, it is it is interesting. I mean, I, 
just to briefly tell you my own experience, different to yours, I suspect, or all of you perhaps, I've not spent a huge amount of time on the website. I spent a lot of time with the mobile app on my Android device. And I oh, think I they, that, that is really outstanding. The only thing I can't do with it is participate in Hangouts. So I've actually had seven invitations to Hangouts, and I've seen them all on my mobile device, which doesn't have a fr front-facing camera, this particular phone. So I'm not sure how it would work on the mobile device yet, but. Uh, I think the, um, uh, like you, Cami, you mentioned the, uh, you know, the, the, the notifications you get. I mean, I see, broadly speaking, this is n not a huge different to, to what I see myself in Facebook. Uh, the Gmail integration is tighter, obviously, than because it's a Google product. They, they've got that integration quite well done, I think. But overall, to me, it is not hugely different in, uh, from an experience point of view, when you connect and you're going to reply to people, see who's saying what, join this conversation, do that, it's just like Facebook. Uh, I think the, um, I can't imagine uh, this is going to take people from Facebook. Shell and I had this as a discussion topic in the last episode of FIR just a few days ago. And I think if I recall correctly, Shell, that was one of the kind of points we coincided on. We couldn't see this, you know, uh, people in droves leaving Facebook to come here. And that's probably not what Google's uh, aiming for. Uh, but it, it's an yeah, interesting Well, it's tool. one of the points that I made and, and, and other people have made. The sure. point, too, is, is, is what problem does it solve exactly? Uh, well, it does a good I mean, job it's, it's, at, at what it's doing, but it, it's not solving a serious problem that most people on Facebook are experiencing. Well, I'm not sure what, what that problem is myself. I, mean, I, I, I see it probably as, as a way of integrating uh, aspects of Google, the branding, uh, the fact they do have this social network. We've already seen news in the last few days that a blogger and Picasso names are going. That's going to become integrated. So that it looks as if they're building something that is an integrated um, service that includes a social networking tool like this. Uh, uh, you know, more will emerge, no doubt. So this is the early adopter the testing time. I don't know a huge number of people over here in the UK who are using it uh, yet. So it's, it's clearly got the bigger take up in the US right now. Uh, but it is interesting, I, I must admit. I, I like what I see, but the mobile is where I spent most time. And I think they've really got something nice already uh, with the mobile app. So, and I looked, talked to a friend of mine yesterday who's got it running on an iPhone. He's got the iPhone version uh, of this, and they look almost identical, some, some minor layout differences. So they clearly spent quite a bit of time on developing those mobile apps. Well, and you can do a huddle on uh, the mobile. Uh, the huddle is a um, is a group chat, right. like not, you know, a, a, a typed out chat, right? And also, there's uh, one other thing I saw um, running through the streams yesterday. There's a form that Google has right now for early adopter companies. I'm sure you at Lionel know about this already, but you can sign up to be in that trial. Um, they have it on there, but the problem is once you get that trial set up. Uh, they're, when they come out with the Google business product, that they're going to they're going to eliminate that profile, and you'll have to start over. Um, the other thing that they've said is that they are going to police um, that. They're going to actually remove any profiles that are business profiles. Just FYI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah that, thank well, you. One of the things that uh, I would like to see, and I, I don't know that it's um, in the cards, but you know, I have a, a second monitor, and I have TweetDeck running on that monitor all the time. Uh, and I would love to get a column open for uh, Google Plus or even just for uh, a, a particular circle. Uh, but I Maybe don't Buzz will do that. know that yeah. there's an API out there that lets anybody do anything. With, well, with isn't, isn't that what Google Buzz, I mean, Google Buzz is now pretty tightly integrated into Google Plus. So maybe maybe that's what uh, uh, how that's going to. I mean, I'm, I don't know whether that is will do what you're asking, Shell. But the, the, there's actually an opportunity to put a Google Google Plus a Google Buzz column in TweetDeck, right? I don't know. Hey, Brian, what were you going to say? Um, oh, I, I was just going to piggyback on what you were saying that announcement last night, uh, adding on to the to the point about brands because we we uh, we saw that Scott Monty got a. Uh, a profile going for Ford and also Ford Europe, I think, and some of the media companies, Mashable, of course, had mm -hmm. one. But ABC News had a really uh, had a really nice page. They were putting uh, video in there, and I was able to you know click right from within the stream and start uh, checking out video. So um, so so that, that was neat to see the uh, to see the experimentation. But yeah, they're they're asking they're asking uh, brands and businesses that have already set up a profile. To take it down, um, and it, Cammy, it's not clear to me if, if they're going. If Google will take it down, if if the brands don't comply, or um, well, they said they would. They, they said they, they, would. They, there was there was a there was a post that I saw Last that said night. that they would. Yep. They absolutely okay. will. Okay. They said. Yeah, yeah. But but I mean may, I mean that's Google saying they're going to take these down. What reason have they given? Has that been why they're going to do that? They. 
just said that they wanted to have a business experience and that they had a way, they do have a way for businesses that want to come on early and experiment to do it through their channels. They've got a, they've got a form and I've got the uh, URL that we can append to this in some way or another. I'm not sure where we're going to put this, maybe on a wiki somewhere. Okay. Okay. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. But some of the discussion I've been seeing. Is it that if they want to be uh, more like Facebook yeah, and ensure yeah. that profiles yeah. are real you know, and have businesses engage in some other means? Yeah, I yeah, think, I, I think I think they're going to have this. They're going to have business profiles. They're going to actually have them. They said they will. They're just going to. They want to release them. They said this is a beta trial, and that they don't want that. that this is the experience they're trying to work out first, and then they're going to bring the business experience in with it. But they absolutely plan to do it. I mean that makes sense because I'm just looking at Ford Europe's page in Google yeah. Plus right oh, now. Oh yeah, I read uh, an item from. And, and it's it's it's, it's, where, it's, uh, it's Congress, this is a company. Uh, this is a co crashed. This crash, is a company. <laughs> yeah, sorry. It's okay. It's just they were crashing. Hey, um, Shell, I think you're lagging the most. Why don't you talk for a second because you had something to say, and then we'll go to Neville. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I did see a comment from, uh, it was on one of the Google blogs uh, from uh, Agent of Commerce uh, saying that they're working on the pages for businesses, and uh, they, they don't have a timetable for when it's going to be released, uh, but they do want to get right. So uh, it's coming. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So just briefly, I mean, I was looking at the Ford Europe page, and, and it just says Ford Europe. I think Ford, the, the, the other site, says the same. So anyone uh, on that account leaving a comment is just labeled that. So what they're doing is what you often see on Twitter, where you've got individuals leaving their initials with a little little uh, symbol there to indicate the individual who's leaving the, um, the comment. Uh, and in fact, looking through, I know uh, the, the guy who's doing that. And I, I think that adds a personal add to it. People actually... You, used to that kind of thing. So the interest see how uh, Google is going to offer this in a way that enables this to become personal in some way. Uh, do you have any, any sense of that, Cami? Is there any idea? Uh, have they communicated any detail of that, or is that still all to come? I don't know what that's going to be. I know Lionel. Lionel, how are you guys doing? Yeah. You do the Lionel at Dell and that kind of stuff. Let's, let's just find out what they're doing. Yeah, we haven't actually officially created a, a Dell page yet. But you know, I, that's what I was going to say. I was going to give a, a quick shout out to Google because uh, yeah, they've been pretty engaged in this stuff uh, you know, uh, and pretty responsive. You know, folks like Bradley Horowitz and, and, uh, and Chris Noslin is another one that, you know, that's responded on this. And actually, I was just looking at, uh, at, at Richard Benhammer's feed uh, he shared this, uh, it looks like yesterday sometime, I think, uh, but it was a video from Christian uh, on YouTube where he was explaining, hey, they're, they're working through, uh, you know, some, you know, some processes and, 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 you know, they want to launch this, you know, this, uh, you know, this process right for brands. And, you know, so they told us about the form, which we filled out. And uh, our plans are to work with Google uh, in terms of, you know, just sharing our, you know, our wish list. And then uh, working with them to figure out <clears throat> what are they going to roll out, <clears throat> and then uh, and then launching with uh, with an official official page after after it's rolled out. Cool. That's great. Uh, let yeah. me throw out some comments right away then as a wrap comment. I think this has been a trip experiment it's actually been great seeing you all and chatting to you mm -hmm. i haven't spoken to all of you actually for ages brian i haven't talked to you for about a year i reckon i think actually, so a yeah. long time yeah yeah uh, so it's been terrific from that yeah it's been great from that point of view uh, and hearing what you think about this and the way we've exchanged these thoughts i think it's just been terrific i thoroughly enjoyed this and thank you for well thank you for doing it Cammy, great idea thanks for having thanks for yep, humoring thanks, me <laughs> all right guys Take care. Thank you. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.